Hello there. Glad to have you join us in today's presentation. Thank you very much for joining us on today's uh, webinar as we talk about the Canada New Visa Route, which is called the Innovated Caregiver Pilot Program. My name is Tosi, and I'll be your anchor for today. Um, a brief introduction about our company. Uh, we are a reputable travel agency with over a decade of experience specializing in study, work, and relocation packages. Uh, we are affiliated with numerous schools around the world and agencies around the world. We effectively support our clients and deliver the desired results. We have a successful, we have successfully assisted many uh, individuals in relocating to the UK, to Canada, to Australia, and the US, and of course, various European countries. And at Amsterdam International, our mission is very simple, is to turn your dreams of studying, living, and working abroad into seamless reality. Okay, today we're talking about the new pilot program uh, newly launched by the Canadian government. Uh, the Immigration Minister Mark Mueller, Millers, Mark Millers uh, unveiled this innovative caregiver pilot program a uh, few days ago, designed to streamline the path to permanent residency for home care professionals. So it is specifically for home care professionals, and it is a first of all of the pilot program that comes with permanent residency upon arrival. How beautiful is that? So this initiative aims to address the ongoing shortage of uh, caregivers in various communities and provinces within Canada, okay? Having been in development for several decades, this is now finally coming to fruition. So they've been working on it for several years, and we are glad to announce to you that this is finally up and running. Okay, so how does it, this concern you as a person? This announcement from Canada is indeed a game changer, if you agree with me, because it eliminates uncertainty by granting permanent residency upon arrival. So it bypasses the need for a degree or Canadian work experience uh, as previously requested by Canada. So you need to have Canadian experience and you need to have worked in Canada for 12 months before now. Okay, so this new pilot program actually eliminates all of those requirements. So you can confidently expect permanent residency status from day one in Canada. That is amazing, guys. So once you arrive in Canada, you're already going in with your permanent uh, residency. And of course, once you have your PR, you're on a fast track to becoming a Canadian citizen. This is sure banker, all right? So this is a very, very significant step towards aspiring caregivers who are looking to build in a new life in Canada. So if this is you, please stay tuned as we proceed. So Canada has an aging population, and that is the reason why uh, they are actually requesting for carers to come uh, and work in Canada. Okay, so the average population and also families that need uh, child support so that their parents can also concentrate on work and go to work. And, you know, this means, uh, you know, as a carer, your job is to take care of the children and, of course, the elderly. You know, in advanced countries like Canada, uh, the U.S., the United Kingdom, it is actually a crime to have your aged person at home uncared for. So this is the major reason why uh, this program is being launched to be able to provide adequate care for the aged. All right. So this means you must start preparing right now. As the saying goes, uh, when opportunity means preparation, it equals success. So in this presentation, uh, we outline the eligibility criteria, all of the requirements you need, and of course, the procedure to show you how to maximize this amazing opportunity. So number one, who is a carer? So you need to know who a carer is. And a carer is also known as 
healthcare assistant, caregiver, it could be a home support worker, it could be a support worker, it could be a living carer, whatever name you want to give it. Uh, it's an individual provide essential support and assistance to individuals who are unable to care for themselves fully or partially due to illness and disability or old age. All right, so these are the categories of people who need uh, care. Okay, so carers play a very, very major and crucial role in ensuring the well-being and comfort of those they cared for. So it is your job and responsibility to care uh, for those people you have been employed to care for. All right, so often in various settings, such as uh, hospitals, such as residential care facilities, such as care homes, even in individuals' own homes. So you can also be employed by families uh, to help them take care of their aged one or even their children. So I've been able to outline 10 different roles of a carer or a caregiver. Number one is personal care. Please, um, this is one of the most important job of a carer. Okay, so is basically assisting your service user or your patient as whatever they call them all right with activities of daily living such as baiting for them brushing their teeth dressing up for them helping them with toileting and grooming so carers always ensure that individuals maintain personal hygiene and dignity so this is one of your major role uh, as a carer number two medication management so administering medication as prescribed by healthcare professionals so you are following the prescription following the dosages and you're ensuring correct dosage and correct timing when the medication needs to be taken you're documenting all of them you're monitoring any reaction due to the medication so please they don't call it drug they call it medication these are the things you need to start knowing and changing your vocabulary Okay, number three is mobility assistance. So you help individuals with mobility issues. Uh, you help them to move around, including transferring them between beds and chair. Please, you do not use your bare hands uh, mm -hmm. to transfer. You will need an equipment called hoist. So it could be a silly mounted hoist, it could be a wall mounted hoist, it could be a mobile hoist, uh, which assists and aids mobility in moving your patient from one place to another. Okay, number four is nutrition and hydration. You assist with meal preparation. That means you need to know the kind of meals they eat and know how to prepare them. So this is part of the preparation uh, I was talking about. So you help them with feeding if necessary. If they can't feed themselves, you help them with that. You ensure uh, they have adequate fluids uh, to maintain hydration all through the day. Number five, emotional support. You're providing companionship. Okay, you are giving listening ears to them. You are offering them emotional support. You know, you are promoting social interaction and mental well-being. This is also very crucial. Number six, monitoring their health. Okay, so your job may also include, you know, taking vital signs, checking the temperatures, you know, uh, reporting changes uh, in, the, in their health conditions and behavior to your prof healthcare professionals, which could be your supervisor, your team leader or nurses who are ahead of you who you are reporting directly to so this is also very important number seven safety and comfort you must create a safe and comfortable environment for who you are caring for your patient or service user this is very important uh, this include maintaining cleanliness you know organizing living spaces and ensuring safety measures are in place. Uh, safety measure could be removing sharp objects from around them, clearing the pathway for them to be able to walk freely. Uh, these are the things you do to ensure safety uh, for your clients. Number eight, communication. We cannot overemphasize this. This is very important. Even if you are the type that do not talk, you must learn how to communicate effectively. You know, you are acting as a liaison person between the individual and their families. Even with your, your own co-staffs and professionals, your supervisors. So you must be able to communicate with all of these people all together so that they, they can know what is going on with uh, the person you are caring for. So communication is very, very important. 
Okay, number nine, record keeping, documentation, documentation, documentation. All right, documentation is very, very, very important. You must document your observation, document relevant information regarding your client. If there are bruises on their skin, if they have injury, if they're not feeling too well, if they're feeling sick, you document everything. When they have their food, if they refuse medication, if they refuse to eat, all of these things need to be documented. And usually they will provide um, a booklet or they provide you a tablet. So digital device for you to do all of those document documentation and then once you post it, they can see it at uh, the office, okay? This is very important. And lastly, professional development, of course, you want to develop yourself every now and then, take courses, you know, enhance your skill, uh, improve your knowledge, improve your caregiving practices, knowledge and skills, you, you know, staying updated and then ensuring you follow best practices and regulation within the healthcare sector so this is very very important let's proceed all right so there are four major criteria you know you know criteria and requirement for this program number one is english language eligibility all right so Canada has been able to do this in such a way that they want everybody to be able to come in by reducing the CBL score to level four, okay, which means you must score a minimum four in reading, four in writing, four in listening, four in speaking, which I think is very achievable for anyone to do. So this is just straightforward. Uh, that means you need English language tests. You need IELTS, you need TOEFL, you need any of these tests to be able to do it. Okay, number two is high school diploma, which includes uh, your SSC, your WAEC, or NECO. So you must have completed your SSC diploma uh, or it's equivalent to be able to apply. And one thing you must also do with this certificate is uh, you must evaluate this certificate to be able to apply. This is very important. Okay, number three, you must have or possess relevant and recent work experience. Okay, so you must have that experience to be able to take up this jobs offer. So if you believe you can do it, it's good, but it's not enough. You must be able to demonstrate it. You must be able to practicalize it. So uh, there are specific do's and don'ts you need to know uh, regarding uh, caring. So what we aim to do as a company is to provide this practical and theoretical job experiences for our clients. So we've been able to partner with two different clinics. Uh, who will give you this real life and some practical experience so you can experience it firsthand and understand all of this. It will really, really help you to go a long way for you, especially for those who are coming from non science background, who has nothing to do with healthcare. You are in hearts, you are in heart student, you are in business, you know, this will help you a great deal. I'm going to explain this further. Uh, in the presentation and lastly uh, but not the least job offer you must be able to secure a job offer uh, from outside Canada to be able to migrate uh, to Canada and of course this is not a very difficult thing to do um, because the job is now open to organizations it's open to recruiters it's open to care home it's open to nursing home even family can sponsor you all right but there are rules guiding that. That means uh, the combination of the husband and the wife's salary must be able to take care of their own bills and, of course, still pay the carer. All right? So all of this needs to be checked uh, before they can be given approval to sponsor. Okay, CLB. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, and, I'm, and I want to explain it here on this slide. So CLB simply means Canadian Language Benchmark. Okay, so the CLB is the Canadian Language Benchmark. So it's a language test. Uh, it's a way of, uh, you know, measuring what you've done, the, the English test you've done, and, you know, converting it to that of, uh, the level in Canada. So it's a standardized language assessment used in Canada to measure the English or French language proficiency of non-native speakers. And you know what? In Africa, here in Africa, 
except for South Africa, every other African country is regarded as a non-English native speaker. So they see us as as if English is not our first language, even if it is. So so that's what it is. Okay, so the CLB is commonly used for immigration, it's used for education, used for employment purposes. The test evaluates skills across four key areas, which we all know, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So you can convert your English test, your high health, your TOEFL, your CELPIB, your TEF, and your T. CCF to CLB, okay? So I'm going to provide a link for every of our clients to be able to do that, all right? So, but I've also put a screenshot here from that link, uh, which gives you an idea of what to expect uh, when you're converting your high L to CLB. So if you have reading 7.5, speaking 7, writing 6.0, listening 6.5 your clb will be seven and if you have four in reading four in speaking four in listening four in writing your clb will be four which is the minimum requirement for you to be able to apply for this program so just target four 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 uh in all of your four areas which is listening speaking reading and of course writing so why should you start now Everybody's saying it's still new. They've not even launched it. They don't even know about it. But it's been launched. It's been announced, which means it's been signed into law. Okay? So uh, the Canadian process often takes time. We all know that. And according to the minister, there are still backlogs, you know, with other care pilot program. Now, there have been two existing ones before this one. The first one is home. Uh, Home support worker pilot program, and the, the second one is home child care provider pilot program. So both of these we hand on the 17th of June, which is Monday, 2024, to be able to make room for this new initiative, this new pilot program, which has come here to stay. So both the home care support worker pilot program and the home child worker. Uh, pilot program will cease to exist from the 17th of June 2024. Okay, so why should you start now? Early starters are never in a hurry to accomplish anything, so you already you have enough time to put up your CV and cover letter, enough time to do your care certificate programs, enough time to register for your high health, take classes, and write it and pass it. You know, enough time to, you know, do a lot of things and prepare yourself, evaluate your credentials. These are all the stages involved in this process. They are all very crucial. All right. So let this opportunity meet you prepared. Do not wait a day longer if you can start now. So you're also going to enjoy a bit entry discount and, of course, a theoretical and practical section discount. That section i told you the partnership i told you we have and it's going to provide that practical like uh a practical section and hands-on experience for you to see all of those things know how to do them and of course acquaint yourself uh with them so they can help you with first your job interview and of course help you uh while on the job in canada so your hangout your certificate verification cv and cover letters you must start them now Okay, so how do we come in as a company? How do we come in to help? Number one, we can provide you a tailored CV and cover letter, a Canadian tailored CV and cover letter. And I can be able to tell you that many, many, many people have secured job uh, with this CV and cover letter from around the world, from UK, from Canada, uh, or, or, or over the years. So this is really, really uh a thing not to play with please get in touch with us we're going to help you to tailor your cv and cover letter the right way okay uh number two is practical and theoretical training which i spoke to you about please do not play down this this is very important to to get you ready mentally emotionally to get you ready physically you have uh, a practical hands on experience as a carer, okay? So I had registration. If you need help with that, we can also provide a service for you. If you need your verification 
or certification why not we can also provide that for you want to evaluate your certificate please uh, reach out to us and of course interview prep class this is crucial guys how to answer their question i must tell you we already have the question that we ask you i'm not saying we have the word for word we already know the areas they're going to ask you questions from all right and we can tell you how to answer them specifically okay the keywords to use how to construct your sentences these are very important uh, to your success please do not play down all of these services and i've been able to break it down in this slide uh, showing all of the cost implications for each of these we don't want to model them up because you might be ready for one and not be ready for another you might even have your your case certificate ready or you have your hiat ready so you don't need to you know do everything at a time that's why we've been able to break it down for you uh the first one is cv and cover letter which costs twenty five thousand naira only this case certificate program of course uh, because of the exchange rate is now about fifty thousand naira. you can choose to do that on your home which is fine by house um it's an online course you need to take that prepares you uh, first hand and introduce you to caring okay interview prep class that i just spoke about very 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 important it will equip you to be able to face an interviewer and of course know how to answer their question accurately okay that is twenty five thousand. so the practical and the theoretical section training i spoke to you about is two fifty thousand. all right Okay, the next slide shows uh, IAT registration. The last time I checked, is around one forty thousand. It could it could be a little bit up or down. So we just put one fifty thousand there for you. You can do it by yourself. It's not difficult at all. If you require help, that's why we just put that there. Your referencing on your CV is twenty five thousand. Those medical companies are going to give references to you, uh, which will go a long way uh, in helping your application okay so higher tutorial classes for need high health you've been struggling with high health over the years please reach out to us we also have tutorial classes for high health uh, to help you to pass it at a single sitting okay so last but not the least is the job search and recruitment okay so this is in two parts the first part is having done all of the first set of things i mentioned from your cv to your care certificate to evaluating your document to putting all of your documents together and then once the documents are ready the first one we can help to apply for you directly to the agencies to the care home to the recruiters in canada okay so you are giving us that role that responsibility to be able to apply directly for you that's one the second one is which is not ready yet uh, we've been talking to recruiters about it since it was launched and we're talking to care homes about it since it was launched for them to give us specific slots to say oh for our province in uh, within this province and of course in this also care homes within this province we need 20 persons so and uh, for us to be able to do that you must have gone through all of these stages we must have seen that you've attended this practical section which is crucial we've done your cv we've done all of these things step step by step and of course, when the opportunity comes, we will we'll, we'll just push you straight into it. All right. So those are the two areas of uh, applications that we have. So our plan for you is to take you through this process step by step, to stay by your side, to guide you, to support you. All right. Only those who do the practical section will be on the line for those jobs please we can we need to be able to beat our chests to say mr hey or mr b or mrs hey or mrs b is fully equipped and ready to take up these jobs okay please note that that is very very important and of all these are bank details if you want to start immediately why don't please make a payment send proof of payment to our email or send it to our whatsapp we'll be glad uh, to begin your application as soon as possible okay the contacts uh 
number our website is amsominternational.org dot organization o r o g please and of course our email is amsominternational gmail dot com we are in, we're in Songo Ota, and of course our Lagos office is going to be on the Highland. We're working on that, uh, but of course you can still meet us in our Ota office, uh, or give us a phone call or book an appointment, whatever you want. All right. But the goal is to get you started, get you up and running, and then so you can enjoy the best of this opportunity. It's the best ever. I must say, we've been in business for years. There is no pilot program that gives you on the spot permanent residency upon arrival without Canadian experience. Never. It has never happened. Okay, so if this is happening right now, you don't know what might happen next year, please plug in as soon as possible, as soon as you can. As soon as you can. Almost everybody who's joined or registered for this webinar has SSE. So that means there's nothing delaying you. Please get started right now it's a link below this video click on that link and then get started and let's begin your application i'm eager to meet with you i'm eager to you know take up your application myself and my team and we wish you the very very best of luck uh 2024 is your year your year you've been waiting for really and we are glad to support you to make that dream come through thank you very much for your time thank you for listening uh, should you have any question, please feel free to reach out to us via our number and our email address. I'll be glad to support and help you. Thank you very much for your time once again. God bless you. Bye for now.